Hey everyone, it's Michelle. Happy Sunday. I'm here with a quick tip today. I had a friend ask me the other day, Michelle, why do you always stamp first on your grid paper? Well, take a look at that. That, my friends, right there is why I always stamp on grid paper or scratch paper first. So I am getting ready um, for my team meeting tonight with my Stampin' Bee team. Yay, team! And I'm making these beautiful cards using the Seriously the Best stamp set. I love this because I love big sentiments. They pack a huge punch with very little wording, and I don't need a whole lot of background, all right? But, so I started with my Hello Friend, and I grabbed my Early Espresso ink pad. Now, this is an ink pad I obviously haven't used for a while because when I inked it up, check this out, and I put it over there, I am not going to get a very clear, crisp image, and it's awful. So, this is why. Now, I'm going to set that aside. I've got my early espresso, I'm going to double check, yep, early espresso ink pad and I'm wearing my glasses so I can reach right over here and grab my early espresso reinker. I have to wear my glasses because those are teeny tiny little letters. Anyways, so let's I haven't shown you how to re-ink a stamp for a while, so let's do that. I also had a friend over yesterday. If you watched my Facebook Live yesterday, you saw that um, Alexandra was going to come over and stand with me, and she asked me how to re-ink a stamp or an ink pad. So here we go. So this is my early espresso ink. And, you know, I'm going to give you one word of caution. Less is more. You want enough ink where you get a crisp and clear image without it being super saturated. Notice I didn't say juicy because I can't stand the word juicy, but we're going to be careful. We're going to get clear coverage without a, a lot of mess. So I start at the top and I'm just going to squeeze. And you can you see? Oh, it is really soaking that ink up. This is one dry, ink pad. And then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to go, whoops, about squish that all over in this direction. Now less is more because it's easy to reapply more ink. Make sure you get those corners and the edges. And you know, people seem to like to stamp in the middle. So I'm just going to do that. And look, that is just soaking in. That is one thirsty ink pad. So I'm going to close that up. Now I did get a little on the side so I've got a tissue and I'm just going to, to wipe that off because I don't want to make a mess. Okay. Now, you can use that right away. I know some people take a, a plastic spoon or they take their bone folder. I've done that with my bone folder. You saw the one I was using yesterday. It's a mess. Okay. Um, I don't know where it is. But, you know, you can, you can squish it around or whatever. But honestly, you know... Just a little bit of stamping like that. And look at the difference. Look at that. That friend is not going to know that you were very serious, but that friend certainly is. All right. So let's see. I've got my two and a quarter inch circle right here. Now let's see what that looks like on cardstock. All right. Hello, friend. Makes me think of Simon and Garfunkel. I could burst into song, but I won't. Look at that. Now, what would you rather have, this one or this one? Reinkers, my friends, they're well worth the cost. I think every time you buy a new ink pad, you should buy the reinker because you don't want to get in a situation like I did today where you've just got this fuzzy, hazy. I mean, come on. If I sent that to a friend, they would think I was joking. If I send that one to a friend, they're going to know I love them. All right. Hey, y'all, have a great Sunday afternoon. I'm off to go finish these cards. I'll show you what they look like later. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.